right, start, start now. This here is the Nemesis Arms Band. This comes in five different calibers, 243, 260, 653, more 308, and 338 Federal. What we have here is the 653 more. You needed to switch out a caliber, all you do is take off the barrel, put a new barrel on it. It's the same mag and same bolt for all five rusty calibers. You take the barrel off just like this. The barrel comes off, that's how easy it is. It does not lose zero. All you have to do is change the barrel. We have all of our barrels with the caliber right on the side. So you know what caliber you need So if you take this down and you want to take your rifle apart, you can simply slap the stock, and then your rifle's ready to go in a backpack or a briefcase. You put it together and fire the rifle, and simply lock it back in the locking system, the tripod, set the rifle on. There's a locking mechanism right here on the barrel, slides right in, and you just back down. Pull the retention pin back and the rifle's ready to fire. If you need to trigger it, you can take the bolt out very easy. It goes right back in. They're ready to go again. Stock clock. It also comes out. You can completely feel it with the rifle. With our rifle, it does many different things. It just does not sit on a bipod. So what you see is the rifle. It loops in the bottom pin, and now you can track a target. If you take the rifle in an upright position here, if you needed a flat surface, this will lay on on the magazine and the bipod. So what you can do with this is shooting it off of a flat area. It, it will stand by itself. Well, again, if you needed an angle shot, then you can shoot off, and you can shoot it off at any position or not, and it still lays here. So now what you can do with the rifle is take it so that you can shoot off of a wall. You can also take it for military or law enforcement. You can take it and shoot a barricade off of a building. The rifle supports itself. It shoots at any angle, any degree. You can raise the rifle back up, drop your bipod to the side, tighten up both knobs. How high are you talking? As you can see, the rifle will now set off of a wall, either side. Or you can hold the rifle in a switching hand position. Your safety is right here in the trigger housing. The balance of the rifle is underneath the mag well. You can hold it here, and the balance is right there. So when you set the rifle back up, your safety's here and it's ambidextrous. So when you have the rifle here, you can shoot it from either side. You can shoot it left-handed also. Ambidextrous cheek weld, ambidextrous safety. So with this here, when we come back down here, the other nice thing about the rifle is when you are laying Instead of having to lift the rifle up, setting it up, or rolling with it to get the magazine out, you can simply drop it to the side. <laughs> or you could dump your empties to one side and put your clothes in from the other. I'm having a hard time thinking about things. It won't, it won't focus. Well. With our rifle, you can also, it is threaded at the front. How's the recoil on For a muzzle brake, the muzzle brake on the 308 and 65 Creedmoor, drop it. The recoil down to about a 223 volt. So we have this assault 5 8 24 standard thread for a 30 cal suppression system, which we have right here also. So you can put a suppressor on it or the muzzle brake, and we also have thread protectors if you choose to shoot with neither. Right, and the try and all that stuff. The rifle dials in real easy. We can shoot that, as we see out here, to 950 yards. And it's a very accurate shooting rifle, very flat and very consistent. We do not lose zero when we take our rifle apart and put it back together. Everything seems the same. And the reason is because of the way we machine the rifle and, and the care and, and the precision that we take into it. All our barrels are ground for concentricity. And then we do special things to our barrels in our system, our rifle, to make it shoot the way it does. It's very consistent and, and it doesn't change. All of our rifles.
start as billet or upper receivers an 18 pound block is still when we're done as a three and a quarter pound receiver. So we don't do anything for, for granted and we start from the basics and we make it a precision shooting machine. Cool. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.